Our video game industry is hotter than ever this season, and one good reason, Nintendo has introduced some hot new toys. But have things gone a bit too far? This evening, Ken Shockte wraps up a special report on video mania. Does this really have to cost this much? Where should the anger be directed? Not at the parents, but at the what? The manufacturer does it. So it has come to this. Therapy sessions for families whom you could call Nintendo Pendant. First of all, the peer pressure starts. I feel maybe exploited. Psychologists' offices might get more crowded this holiday season. Just in time for Christmas, the Japanese toy maker Nintendo has come out with a new set of electronic video games. At $200, a Super Nintendo setup costs twice as much as the old system, and you can't mix and match. For the money, the company promises better pictures, sound, and adventures. Some of the new games look like updated takes on fairly well-known formats. In the racing game of F-Zero, you're in a futuristic race car. Oh, I guess I should watch where I'm driving instead of talking. The 3D effect, as you can see, is pretty good by video game standards. It was a nice clear stretch, even if I am in reverse. Let's see if we can't turn the car around right about now. If you're a real good player, meaning you've got the skill of a 9 or 10-year-old, you can even try to jump your car. But look out. If you miss, the game lets you know your status. Some parents are refusing to be taken in. I'm going to say no, and I'm going to explain to him how people market things to make you spend more money. Nintendo controls 80% of the video market, though some game players prefer the pictures of its competitor, Sega. But no matter how you play the game, or which game you play, things definitely have come a long way since Pac-Man. Ken Shocknick, Channel 4 News.